Hello everybody, welcome to game number 24, soldiering on, unflappably, with these high elves. Um, going to have a big TV advantage now. Oh, not that big a TV advantage, because he's got two journeymen of his own. Level 8 coach, though, that is, that is encouraging. Um, he's got a couple of blodgers. And of course, now the team is absolutely ruined. Um, <laughs> absolutely ruined. Lost the guard blitzer, lost the mighty blow tackle, sidestep catcher, blodge obviously. Um, but you know, we've got this strength four catcher now, so he can carry, he can be a good thing. And then can get some new catchers in and maybe they'll get movement, because obviously like movement for the one turn is more important than anything. Um, so you know, it's really not about Lose, losing the guard blitzer really hurt, honestly. But um, especially as this guy's just running all numbers and all normals and would like to be replaced soon anyway. So, like, replacing him and keeping the other blood stuff would have been amazing. But, you know, now I've got to obviously keep him because he's got tackle. So he's going to have to stick around for a little bit anyway. And obviously he has to get leveled up. The new catcher will have to get leveled up. This strength four catcher has to get leveled up. So there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of work to be done to salvage this team. <laughs> yes, Joel, uh, yeah, a good 17 minutes. Yeah, the British dad buying the gun, thinking I had bullets in it was a bit stupid. But the, the, just the general attitude of them being absolute scumbags was spot on for most people in England. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a rubbish team, isn't it? And 10, 10 fan factor is obviously going to be a big handicap. And the, the TV plus is going to be a big handicap. So it's going to be... It's going to be a rough ride now for this team. But, you know, that's okay. The record is all right. We will continue to remain completely unflappable. And qualify. With a good team, hopefully. Like, it's only 20 games of progress gone. <laughs> So with another 20 games, can rebuild. <laughs> the Gdynik setup gets better now, because there's, uh, there's more rubbish players to expose. Fantastic. All part of the plan. Not my BB day, have a good game. Hello. Hello, Dr. Pookies. I must have seen episode one then, uh, just recently. I was just reading the plot of You're the Worst, so I must, I must have watched it from like pretty much the start. That was quite good. There are a lot of gym shards I never see because I don't have the thing. A blot! Blitz him with the uh, the mighty blow gun. Oh wait! 
don't have a mighty blow guy anymore. Do I double GFI it and catch it? It might not power me. Double GFI at the end. Glorious. Not terrible. Wow, 407k, what the hell? <laughs> HTK. <laughs> you lunatic HTK. 200 to win 7. <laughs> Thanks for the prediction, Dimmy. I never do them myself. Chobo. Oh my god, if you double ones after putting the three people in. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight. So, um, I want to free up him first. Can I hit from there? Yeah, I guess I'll just do that one here. Not terrible. I guess I don't want to risk using a reroll here. Just bang it in. That levels him. Hello, Dietrich. <laughs> Unfuffable. <laughs> Let's start again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Not a bad start, yeah, not a bad start. I mean, it's a good recovery game so far, right? You can't say it's a good recovery game yet, because it could easily just have three players die, and then it's not a recovery game at all. <laughs> Here we go again. This one not so good though, is it? There's no, uh, there's no catch this time. Tragedy. Ah, oh, misclick. I think it's the same kind of thing though. Just tag people off. Get guards in.
Get shit on. <laughs> Snakes would be amazing. <laughs> Instant snake. Ah, oh, thanks very much, Paravel. Yeah, quad skulls. <laughs> I do think, though, that he shouldn't have made it a three dice, right? He should just run out on the Frenzy to make it a two and a two. That gives him six dice, potentially, with a reroll. Um, okay, he hasn't got... I guess he's got strip with Hubris, hasn't he? He's got strip with Hubris. But still, I still preferred going for the six dice with a Witch Elf and then having more players to react to pick it up and secure the ball. But I guess, yeah, fair enough, three dice with, with Hubris for, uh, for the strippers. So maybe he made the right play anyway. Oh, shit, ballon. Hey. <laughs> Thanks, team man Taylor, yeah. <laughs> We have mega adversity here. Oh, we've got a play on the ball here, haven't we, next turn? Very exciting. Do you see the play, guys? Well, currently we do. He might fix it. It is Hubris Rakarth. He does not fix it. Problem is not having a player. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we do have him. No, but then he's the one who would like to blitz, but he, he just can't. One, two, three, four, five, six, so it's a GFI in. Should have got him up first. No tackle in a blodger, so it's a bit rubbish. But it was nice getting two dice in the ball, wasn't it? And it wasn't a sausage. I don't think it's his 10th game ever, he's he's 55%, I think he's probably played tabletop and stuff. Or like something, he's played something, right? 3-4-2 from the first 9 games in CCL is really good. Really nice. Which star player is that? It's Jimmy Fonda. Hey. <laughs> oh my god, he's just rolling all of the bad dice. Wow. 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 Yeah, lost the wrestler as well, right? Lost the Rogers, there was no wrestle hit on the ball. And then lost one of the tacklers, so... <laughs> I'm a raging bone. That's uh
Okay. So the Storybook Brawl is this weekend. Okay. Sorry, I was just, just doing things there. Can push him into him, which then doesn't get a 2D. Might have a 1D, doesn't it? It's not bad. Yeah, and this is an example of why I should have been more conservative, isn't it? Okay, this was cool doing this. But I could have just moved these guys back and got in the way. And played sensibly, but I was running out of time because I was busy, busy, busy trying to do other things. Oh, he's just have a play at that. Okay, well now now we'll do the safe move turn. Yeah, that was that was that was unfortunate. That I was uh, I was busy. This guy's really in the way, so he's got to get punched. Should be able to get some pressure on here anyway. Le match commence à être un peu 
déséquilibré. Ça sent bon l'anéantissement. Il y a un hémoglobine. Pas d'adversaire à terre. Ça va faciliter le travail de l'équipe. Bravo Do the safe moves. Wow, really dicing in with the removals as well. This is crazy. Power is bludger, why not? <laughs> Into an armor break. Oh my god. his dice. Shit. I don't think he's going to be able to stall very effectively here. Maybe one more turn. But with no rerolls even, that's going to be risky. So it should get a four turn. Score. Whee! <laughs> Toxic showboating. So yeah, get the four turn. To make it 2-1. Ready to receive. Really nice. Comedy mega so far, isn't it? Just a completely normal, <laughs> completely normal comedy mega dicing. Congrats just looks like it's taking the piss now, doesn't it? Four turns, he can just pick it up and bang it in himself. Mais Bob, au fond, quelle différence y a-t-il entre le bon et le mauvais passeur Ah, je l'attendais celle-là. Je l'attendais. Non mais le mauvais passeur. Bon bah, c'est le gars qui a un ballon, il voit un truc qui bouge, il passe. Et le bon passeur Le bon passeur Eh ben, bah, c'est le gars, il a un ballon, il voit un truc qui bouge, il passe, mais mais c'est pas la même chose. Il y a le bon passeur. Et il y a le mauvais passeur. I hope he doesn't get a blitz. That would be rude. It would be rude if he got a blitz. Ah. I am not going to ask him about his potential starstruck erection stairs. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I also don't believe anybody would be starstruck around me. <laughs> Maybe if I looked like Henry Cavill. <laughs>
Fuck off, Demi. Interesting, because he's got this bit of threat, but then he hasn't got—he hasn't fully committed, so it's not that good for him, is it? We're just going to go for the pickup first. Good. If he wants to surf, he can, I guess. <laughs> it's not idle curiosity. <laughs> Flip me. Maybe, Demi, maybe. It does, yes, sir. Yeah, it does indeed. Good morning, by the way, out. Seems like you had a good kip earlier night than me, at least. <laughs> it's quite good, isn't it? That uh, that shitty American comedy. <laughs> I thought, the, I thought the British people in it were brilliant. <laughs> that was the most, the best part. Thoroughly, thoroughly realistic. <laughs> Fiddlesticks. They were spot on the brick. Oh my god. Just keep dice, just endlessly dicing this poor guy. <laughs> Obviously, like, I'm gonna have somebody die, right? To, you know, it can't actually just be a rebuild. A blockless block. I wanna do it, see if I had to blitz him or if I could blitz somebody else. Blockless block. Oh God, I hate this fucking move five guy. He consistently fucks me because he's minus movement. Okay, it's not so bad, is it being one shot there? You can try and uphill a bludger. But there's anti frenzy there, so not bad, is it? Hello Lemon! Monsieur Lemon! Oh man, we need to do some JFW sometime, don't we? It's proper shit not having JFW. 
Like losing five idiots and JFW at the same time is just too much. Too much for me to handle and too it's made me too sad. It's made me too sad losing both. At the same time. Or did he just instantly fail? Oh, double skulls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It's just incredible. I just, I'm not sure how well it would go down is the thing, J5. The eye racing uh, didn't go down well at all. But then it wasn't really very well done. Unnecessary dice, but I'm just doing it anyway. It's just funny. There we go. Just styling and profiling, seeing as uh... <laughs> just to taunt him, seeing as he only rolls ones and skulls. I'm not triggered at all. Scroll did I'm completely unflappable. So um. Oh yeah, Among Us. Yeah, we lost Among Us because of the modded scumbags. So we've lost Among Us. We've lost Among Us and JFW and Five Idiots. Like, it's tragedy. A complete collapse of the Jim CU. I'm blaming the Nickverse. <laughs> we need, like, a Nickverse versus Jim CU. Or at least there's Minecraft. At least Minecraft can be something. At least Minecraft could be... I could be, uh... Yeah. yeah, it's got to be the weekend, right? Because of the time zones. You know, never, you never know. I could be the next Shulker Craft. Shulker Craft is great. He just steals content. <laughs> he just literally, he just literally steals content. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Love it. Oh, I could have gone here. I've let him put an extra player in content. They don't just steal content, but they do some stealing content as well. One and a half million subs. Full war. Last video, half a million views. Full war. Be all right, wouldn't it? This month, in a month, they've released one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fourteen videos. One's got nearly a million views. 
Ooh. Two of them have got any million views. Imagine that. Oh, he should have scored. Shit. Shit. Well, I guess I, I can do that when I'm 2 1 up, and then it's it's nothing to lose then. Yeah, he can score, he can score the second one. Oh, well. Never mind. Glorious KO rolls. He's failed everything. Oh my god. He's failed like 5 out of 6 KO rolls. No, 4 out of 5 KO rolls. Nice. Comedy mega. I mean, it really has been. I still got 9 anyway because he had 12. Because of got hubris, didn't he? So only two players up isn't actually that good. But obviously it should be good enough. We'll do the old half the old half dacker, the yakker. Another removal, because why not? Players. And protect the SPP farm. Bien vu. On refile la patate chaude à une autre paire de mains de griffes ou de tentacules. Ce joueur aurait-il échangé son cerveau avec un snorkeling dément? Everything except pump wagons. Yeah, yeah, just like you get to in, uh, induce things, don't you? So, uh, what I would do is my big, my big advice for that worm thrax. This is this is classic gym uh, tactics. Is to go on fumble and look at uh, what's he called, Malmia's teams and build them exactly as he does <laughs> and play them exactly as he does <laughs> there you go classic classic gym yeah. strikes it makes sense though doesn't it you know if, if there's somebody better than you then then that's somebody to look for <laughs> I think that's a completely reasonable thing to do. Fuck off, Demi.
Yeah, fungus flingers are uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in cargo bay. Fungus flingers are funny. Okay, so we really want to pick it up and pass to him, because he can just, he can just, uh, so from here maybe, so we can hand off back. He can punch at the end. And blitz with him. So if you pass from here and guard it at the side. Okay, that was pretty good, I think. Two more completions and a touchdown. How old, Pedro? The thing is, they won't really worm thrax. Like, they're actually... Okay, yeah, if you don't use star players, fair enough, yeah. Okay, well, if you're not using stars, then... Then, yeah, they were... Like, the funny thing is, Snotlings are actually, like, one of, like, an actual pretty good team, aren't they? They're not even that terrible in the new rules. Although they kind of should be. They're not. But, yeah, if you don't use stars, then they're going to be pretty shit. That's the thing, isn't it? Like, I, from now on, I would only use goblins or halflings in, in, in any local leagues I was going to do. Uh, I realised the errors in my way last time, uh, last time I played in one. Oh, diced. Never lucky. Oh, he's on five, I didn't even realise. Oh, he probably should have done a completion then. Shit. Yeah, make sure you you explain Titchy to them. But yeah, that's that's a good point actually because then they've got to deal with Titchy and stuff. And yeah, who knows? I mean, if you're going to play the Snotlings, then yeah, then you do want to take the uh, you do want to take the pump wagons and just and just bribes there. Eh? He played in CCL, way. It's actually a lot of pressure now, isn't there? The old herb derp base, base, base. The old herpington derpington base, base, basingtons is actually pretty effective here. These two are trapped. After blitz with block. Le ballon est en sécurité. À l'autre équipe de prouver le contraire. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, punch, punch then punch. I'd rather just do a one here. Oh baby. Oh baby. And that gets us him basing that down player. And that's just punch him. God, maximizing blocks is good, isn't it? It's amazing, like, how much. Honestly, I think 99% playing Blood Bowl is just, like, basic maximizing blocks rather than trying to get stronger positions. If you just punch, if you just take the max amount of punches every turn. Because it's, it's funny, isn't it, like, with the whole overblocking thing that a lot of people look down upon say Mr. Page forward, like most of the time that's going to be the best way I think. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, I oh, would be alright, yeah. Yeah, for Fiburio. I mean it is too luck based though as well. I do think it is too luck based. Like, you know, because just because just there's like less dice, right? And they are, if they're so critical, you know, you can't really compare it to 40k where, like, you know, you've, you're shooting at units of 10, you know, two shots each and stuff. Like, it's it's just averaging out so much better, isn't it? Whereas here, you've just got teams of 10 total, and you know, each each thing is, is a one in six of a critical failure or success. Like, there's a lot of luck in it. And, but the problem is, it's not easy for newer players to see that it's because they're shit. <laughs> and it's not because of the luck. <laughs> and it's easy just to write it off on just the luck, yeah, for sure. Hello, Catalars. <laughs> Just trying to protect him, that's why I re-rolled it. I didn't really care about the fail, but I obviously want to score on him and get another completion on him, so... I felt like trying to protect him made it... Pushed it over the edge, and obviously that block guy might have died right by failing a dodge. Like the, like the blodge guard had died by failing a dodge. So it does happen. He sold his Norse team the next day. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the sorry in the chat. Yeah, that's a classic, do we? Absolute classic sorry in chat. Gotta love that.
Hmm. So down to. So I've only got a two man advantage. You got seven. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, you've got seven. Hello, no. that there, Phil. Yeah, I was aware that this was exposing the 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 dodge guard to the blitz, but I did want to protect the blitz so that I can score on him. <laughs> It's not over. Don't say it's over. Fuck me. All of a sudden it's difficult to protect the boy. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious that it spits. <laughs> oh my god, it's incredible. <laughs> it's so funny that it spits. <laughs> All the people in the world. <laughs> have said that. It spits. <laughs> Oh my god. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> no right one <word> for it. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Oh, it's going to get tricky to get this completion and touchdown on this guy now. Especially it's getting smashed by Mighty Blow. Oh, he survives. Oh, God. He didn't fail something. He hasn't failed yet. Oh, damn it. Okay, so we open the blockless block. I'm oh, actually blocking, blocking. Okay, maybe this is okay. Lovely, lovely stone. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we could get quite far on actually. Diced. Never lucky. Alright, so hopefully you can pass it to the catcher this turn. This next turn and then get it back and score on the last turn. Yeah, maybe I should have just moved the first one to there, getting there guaranteed. He's out of rerolls. <laughs> yes, I mean there's not there's not adversity in the traditional sense of the word, but there is it for skilling up this blitzer. Just because I forgot in the first half, like if I'd made the transfer in the first half earlier than the last second, it would have been all right, wouldn't it? But I just didn't think of it. Good. Good. Right. Just don't blitz this guy. <laughs> Please don't blitz this guy. I really need this guy to not get blitzed. <laughs> No, uh, no, it's been it's been totally fine. It's been an absolute dicing, comedy mega dicing the other way, in fact. Hit anybody but this guy. I want that SPP. 
He's got no reason to try. Oh, I guess he could make it 2-2 two -two still. He needs he needs a scoring threat first. Or is the old classic play for the 2-1 loss instead of the 3-1 loss? Which a lot of people do. Oh, he's going for the ball sack. The rowdy ball sack. Should have done it with uh, Hubris, right? Two dice and strip. It wasn't to a catcher. If it was to a catcher, I would have thrown, but I don't want to do it without the. I don't want to risk not getting 3 SPP on him for the chance of 1 SPP on him who's on 34. No, it's not about balls, it's being completely brain dead. No offense, man. <laughs> Banta! <laughs> That's the thing, though, isn't it? You know, like, okay, the win wasn't in jeopardy, but I really want Blodge on this on this blitzer. And he's on 34, so him going to 35 or 36 or even 38 doesn't even matter, right? But getting him on 30, getting him on 6 is super important. Super important. I really should have gone for a completion on if one of the five SPP guys were a guy got killed, he should have gotten a completion. To be fair. Worked out pretty much perfect. She is. You too? A lovely fella. <laughs> I don't need to. Alright, good. I mean, Rick would have done the pass with a fucking skink, wouldn't he? For <laughs> the minus one. <laughs> Rick would have done it Saurus to Saurus pass. I'll never forget the day where Rick. Rick, like, literally could have had a 7 and 0 Lizard Man star on, like, you know, day one or day two of the season. He could have literally just had, like, a, a 6 or 7 and 0 Lizard Man team. And instead, he had, a, he had a 0, he had no team because every win had been pissed away by trying to, like, pick up or hand off to Saurus when the game was still on the line. And the funny thing is, if he'd just scored on the skink in the first half, then he'd have been 1-0 up, and then he might have might have made the handoff to the Saurus in the second half, you know? But instead, he was just he was just even losing the games because he wasn't having them up. Oh, another blitz. Three blitzes. 
to be fair, that does that does add credence to to uh, Art's Art's conspiracy theory. There were three blitzers this game. That is pretty unlikely, isn't it? Unless it's bugged, and if you get one blitz, you keep getting multiple blitzes. Who knows? It's like the cartoon, isn't it, with a random number generator? And he's just going six, 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 six. <laughs> you don't know. No, but once you've got the hypothesis, scroll dude, that if uh, if there's a blitz, you keep getting them. The first kickoff is a blitz, and the next one two two. Uh, so it was about what? It was about hundred one and a hundred and hundred and forty four. Is that right? One hundred and forty four chance. Which isn't that unlikely at all. But you'd have to track it, wouldn't you? Not just guess it. And also. I'd like the thing is it's the fact that it's cyanide and their ineptitude their ineptitude is so strong in a way but like the point is once you get the first one it only, it only matters once you get the first one right so it kind of is on so the chance of three kickoff results and them all being blitzers is 144 times 12, yeah. but the chance of getting them both after the first one, you've already done the first one now. Choose! Like just buy after the pointless foul. Fantastic. <laughs> Yeah. I would write it off as, as insane ramblings apart from the fact it's cyanide and and therefore it's very, very, very possible that they've completely fucked it up. Maybe even likely rather than possible. Let's take Doge. On movement. Okay. Glorious. So we have the move up fella. We have the move up fella and we have the strength up fella. And now he can obviously get sidestep next. And then sprint to finish him off, unless he gets move 10, in which case we'll have to play it again in legend. <laughs> um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven players. Don't even not even sure I want a rookie catcher anymore. I mean, because this one isn't blodge yet. They have to both be a blodge, but then I've got the money. I think I have to keep these two move five guys just because. They've got skills. Right, we'll see anyway. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.